All right, so I recently, about two weeks ago, graduated with a statistics degree, and I finally wanna go through all of the questions that you've asked me on my YouTube channel and try to answer as many as I can. Let's get started. All right, so I'm just gonna hop right into it. Here's the first one. How about a biostatistics MPH? I'm coming from a biology degree, and it's easier to enter that program than a statistician one. So they're talking about getting a master's degree in biostatistics. Um, I really think that depends on your goals. If your goal is to get into a healthcare or biology related field, then biostatistics is a great option. However, if you really don't want to do that and it's just easier to get in, I don't know if that's the best idea, but again, that depends on your goals and your own situation. All right, here's the next one. Could you please make a video about master's in statistics versus master's in data science? I have thought about making this video, but honestly, I'm just going to tell you right now, I think that a master's in statistics is a better option than a master's in data science, at least currently, because there's not a ton of great data science programs, at least master's programs that I know of. I know there's some that are good, but they're expensive and they're at big schools. And if you can afford to get into those and you can get into those, then maybe that's a good option. However, I still think taking the statistics route and then trying to gather those data science skills elsewhere, like using YouTube or using Google to just go through a free course, I think that's perfectly fine. Again, that's my opinion. Personally, I don't want to shell out all the money to go to UCLA or Stanford for a data science course. All right, so here's the next one. Hey, would a statistics degree, a bachelor's degree to be specific, be applicable overseas as well? Currently in a computer science focused program, thinking of switching to a stats focused math program because I really love stats, but I also wanna be able to work around the world in whichever environment. Thanks to anyone with info. So I think statistics is applicable where you are. Any country, anywhere in the world, statistics is a valuable asset to have. I don't think that really matters. But kind of your second area of your question where you're saying you're currently in a computer focused program and you're thinking of switching to stats focused math program because you love stats, I definitely think that's a good idea. But I also think that if you want to be a data scientist eventually, I think if you can still take a computer focused program as well as get the, that mathematical and statistical background, I think you're going to be better off than somebody who just did the statistics. Because personally for me, I think I would have been better off doing maybe a computer science major with a statistics minor or a computing option for my statistics major just to get more of that computer science and coding background because that's super important in that kind of field. So hopefully that helped. And hey, real quick, before I go on to the next question, if you're enjoying this video and getting value out of it, just leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks. All right, so the next one, as a beginner, what should I focus more on, R or Python? I have some experience with HTML and CSS. So you might be saying watching at home, HTML and CSS, not super important for statistics majors. However, if you're going to be a data analyst or a data scientist and you're building dashboards and your boss really wants them to look nice because people are going to end up using them, um, even especially if it's going to be outside of your organization, HTML and CSS actually is important. So that's a definitely a good start. But as far as R or Python, which you should focus on more, I think you should focus on wherever you think your job prospects are going to be. So you can look at job postings for companies that you'd want to work at and what are they looking for? As far as Person, personally, R or Python, I don't think either of them or one of them is better for a statistics type of work. R is obviously focused on that type of work, but Python definitely has that capability and it has, in my opinion, much greater capabilities beyond the statistics and data analytics realm. So if you just want to learn a general programming language to really open up a lot of doors, maybe Python, but if you really want to focus in on data science and statistics, I think you should focus on R. Um, and maybe learn a little bit of Python on the side so you can transfer that knowledge that you gain through R into Python. That's kind of the route that I went. All right, here's the next one. Thank you for this video. Could you explain more about what types of jobs are available for bachelor's and master's degrees in statistics? Well, first of all, you're welcome for the video. And second of all, I've made a video in the past explaining all the best jobs for a statistics degree. A lot of the ones that come to mind are, in my opinion, some of the best jobs. If you can be a research statistician, if you're really into statistics, I think that's a great option. I think that would be very fun. Data science, data analytics. Data analytics is going to be more of an entry level job for somebody with a bachelor's degree, whereas data science probably more focused on somebody with a master's degree in statistics. But with that, you also have a lot, you have to have a lot of background information on the type of company that you're going to be in. So you can't just know statistics. You need to know some about the underlying company um, that you're going to be working for. So if it's in a healthcare company, you need to know a little bit about healthcare. If it's in some kind of business focused or investing focused thing, you need to have a little bit of background in those as well. So taking a few business classes, never a bad idea or classes focused on the realm that you want to be in. But there's a ton of jobs that open up with statistics. I think people kind of underestimate what you can actually do with it. Usually most of the time I'm getting asked if I want to teach math. I've never wanted to teach math really, maybe at a college level someday, but I think people really underestimate the types of jobs you can get. 
Seriously, look it up on the internet. I'm sure you can find tons of examples of people getting great jobs with a statistics degree. All right, here's another question from somebody who asked one earlier, but it's a little bit differently worded. It says, I'm currently a computer science major, but after taking intro to CS class, I'm unsure if I want to keep going. I've been looking at statistics slash math as an alternative since it seems that it doesn't require, require as much coding, but now I'm unsure. Do you recommend that I major in stats even though I feel this way about CS? I'm not sure since part of me feels like I didn't give CS a fair chance since it's only an intro class. Well, I would absolutely say that statistics, you are going to be using some programming. But CS goes way past just programming. If you were to take like a software engineering focused major, then I think you would focus a lot more on programming. But CS is a lot of math and it's a lot of theory behind computer science topics. That's unfortunate for people who go into it who want to be programmers and they don't really care about all that kind of background information and theory, but it is important. But with statistics, you're going to be using a lot of the same thing. You're going to be doing some programming. You're going to learn a lot of math and theory. So that has to be a personal decision from, but I don't think it's really, you know, detrimental to what your future job could be, depending on which one you pick. You can get into a lot of similar roles based on either of those majors. All right, here's one that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to answer fully, but I'll try my best. Hi, Chris. Valuable advice as usual. Just wanted to know your opinion on this. If you're given the opportunity to pursue master's in engineering, which is like electrical or mechanical, etc., versus a master's in statistics, do you agree that statistics does open up more broader opportunity than a specific focus field of engineering? Thanks. I think just in the nature of the master's program, yes, it does have a more broad appeal. However, in terms of getting a job, I don't know um, because I'm sure engineering, oh, I know engineering is in high demand, so is statistics, but a specific realm of engineering, somebody who really, really understands that realm is always going to be um, sought after for that type of role. Whereas somebody with a master's in statistics, it doesn't necessarily mean that people are looking for your exact skill set all the time, especially if you're applying to a lot of different places. They might be looking for somebody with a master's in a very specific realm. So it does offer more broad opportunity and appeal than the other, which is engineering, but I think it's just kind of a horse piece on which one you choose there. It really depends on what you want to do. Here's an interesting one. Will graduating in stats help me becoming a data scientist or should I opt for a BS in computer science? You can see my answer here. I said, from what I've seen, experience beats a degree alone, either are good options. Becoming a data scientist, I think, is all about experience. But like I said earlier, getting a master's degree will definitely help you get into a data science role, whether that's computer science or statistics. I've seen people with both. But I think that if your ultimate goal is to become a data scientist, I think you should be gaining as much experience as you can in programming and statistics background, as well as specific business knowledge in the area that you want to be a data scientist in. So if that's manufacturing, if that's healthcare, if that's finance or investing, then you should really try to dive into those areas as well, because that's kind of what data science is. It's the culmination of specific business knowledge. It's the culmination of statistics and it's the culmination of programming. And you put that all together and you have a beautiful baby data scientist. All right, so this question comes, it says, for an international student with a bachelor's in accounting and finance, what should I do if I want to get my master's in statistics? Um, he kind of backed that up with some additional information. He says that his bachelor curriculum only covered intro to stats and the foundations of probability, but he wants to make the transition to stats. I think that getting a master's degree in stats, there's a lot of different options, specifically at the college that I'm looking at, which is where I got my bachelor's degree the statistics option actually doesn't have a lot of prerequisites as far as like what you need to know before going into it. They might be geared towards somebody who wasn't a major in statistics for their bachelor's degree. So I would try to find a program like that where you can get a lot of the background baked into your master's degree, as well as getting some more advanced statistics knowledge towards the end of that master's degree. So good luck with that. Hello, I'm a fourth year semester of statistics, but I'm not going good at it. I want to change my major in CS. Is it a good choice? Please suggest me. Like I said, I'm not your mom. I can't make that decision. I'm not you. I can't make that decision. If you think you can't get through it, maybe change it. But I will say that I don't think computer science is going to be much better. It's it's a tough major. Statistics is tough. But I think I would personally have a harder time with computer science than I would have with statistics. But that's just kind of me and the classes and things that I'm interested in. Um, so I don't think it's a good idea to ask people on the internet if you should keep going. It's really a personal choice because we also don't know your work ethic or how much time you have to spend on school either. So that's a personal decision that you have to make for yourself. Here's an interesting one. Do you know any online course that would you, you would recommend in statistics? There's plenty. There's UCLA has some probability classes on 
YouTube for free. I think Stanford has some computer science and statistics lectures for free on YouTube. You can find them everywhere. Khan Academy is awesome. Use that as much as you possibly can because they're great at teaching. But I think you can really understand statistics more so than even somebody who went to major in statistics at school. I think you can understand it better if you really take some of these free online courses seriously. Seriously, just look it up. They're everywhere and you can find it in coding. You can find it in statistics and math and business. A lot of different places that you can get this free information online. So definitely utilize that if you really want to take that initiative yourself. And the next question actually kind of backs that up. He says, the question is, could you have done it sitting at home and using online lectures and pirated PDFs? It is possible. Getting internships would have been more difficult, I am guessing. He's talking about whether or not a statistics degree was worth it. So he's saying, if you could have done it and sat at home and got free versions of online training and teaching and pirated PDFs and books, could you have learned the same information? Absolutely. But personally, I think the structure of school is going to be a lot easier. I don't know if I could force myself to learn statistics over a long period of time just by, you know, my own volition and trying to do that on my own. I don't know. Maybe I could have, maybe I couldn't have. I can't say that for sure. However, like he did say in the second part of that, getting internships would have been more difficult because you can't say to an employer, yes, I got this degree. I have proof that I got this degree and learned these things. If you were to do it on your own, you have to back that up with some way to prove that you learned statistics, maybe self-testing, something you can show them, or you can even ask them to ask you questions about what you know. So I don't think it's impossible to learn by yourself and do it that way, but it definitely would make getting an internship or a job probably much harder. Somebody asked, can you make a video on how statistics can help in the stock market? I think statistics can help in the stock market by helping you understand risk. And But I think once you understand that, there's so much randomness in the stock market that it's really difficult to say that on a personal level, statistics can help you a ton in the stock market. With these quantitative hedge funds that do algorithmic based trading, they can absolutely do it. But on a personal level, I don't think I could build a system where that would work for me as well. Here's an interesting one that I really wanted to talk about in a full video. Maybe let me know now in the comments if I should. But here he said, your focus is in information systems, which is true. That was my minor. What were some other focuses, AKA disciplines for applied statistics? So for applied statistics, at least for my degree program, I had to choose a minor. There's so many different options you can have. If you're interested in psychology, you can do that with psycho psychological studies. You can do it in healthcare. You can do it in business, which is another popular one for statistics students. You can do it on risk analysis or computer science if you want to go kind of a data science focused route. But then in terms of my actual degree, I also had a few different options there. I could do applied statistics, like the option I did where you have to choose a minor. I could do applied statistics where the secondary focus is actuarial science, or you can do one where the secondary focus is computing, which I really wish I would have done. It's a statistics degree with a lot of computer science concepts baked in. So definitely look into that. There's so many different options you can go to, and that's the beauty of statistics. You can apply it to basically any realm. Here's one that I get a lot. Any advice on the best college to major in applied statistics as of 2022? I don't know. I know my college was pretty good for statistics. It definitely wasn't the best, but I got a great education and I learned a lot and I had a lot of experiences that outside of the classroom that I could go to talks and meet with professors, um, which opened up a lot of doors for different internships and jobs and things. I think that's more important to me than getting world-class education because usually with world-class education comes a high price tag and I'm a little bit cheap, so... Yeah, I think there's great colleges, and unless you can get into one of those top, top tier colleges, I don't know if spending extra to go to a decent school is better than going to like a state school or something like that. But really, you have to make the most of your opportunity, meet a lot of people, which in turn opens up a lot of doors and opportunities for you in statistics. Here's an interesting one that I feel like a lot of people do. Um, they try to go through these programs where, in his case, he's doing a BCS in computer science, statistics, and math, a combination of all three and it's a three-year degree. I don't know if you can understand all three of those topics, which are vast in their own right, in three years, just through this degree. Sure, you'll get a little bit of everything, but how helpful is a little bit of everything when a lot of people are looking for somebody who's really good at one or two things? So I don't know, that might be too much. I could be wrong though. It depends on the education and how good edu of education you're going to get in a degree like that. And all right, here's one I'm gonna end it on. This is from five months ago, so I'm getting into some old things. Here he said that this degree is so underrated. He's from India 
and there that you either end up being a doctor or an engineer, but courses like stats, maths, and other bachelor degrees are so much underrated. Maybe they will know the value of statistics as the main component of learning. ML is stats. By the way, I'm doing a BCS in stats and would pursue my career as a data scientist. See you soon, brother. Thank you for the kind comment, first of all. Yeah, it is unfortunate that statistics is underrated and under known, I think. A lot of people don't think of what statistics actually does and what statistics powers. But like he said, it powers things like ML and artificial intelligence with things like probability as well as concepts in computer science. I think something like statistics and mathematics is severely underrated. And I do agree. But this is a nice segue into the next video. So I hope to see you guys there where I'm going to be talking about all the math that I used in my statistics degree. So I go over all the classes and how much math is actually involved. See you over there.